there is a lot of interest in Ayurveda now, a lot of people want to try Ayurvedic medicines, but uh, I would like to mention like what exactly is Ayurvedic treatment, because sometimes people are a little bit you know uh, afraid, you know they, know they don't know what what is going to happen. Also many people have the opposite, they have a great expectation, they will come with very serious disease, very chronic disease which they have been suffering for last 20 years, but when they come to us. They are thinking that the, I will cure just like that, you know, as if I have a magic, uh, you know, pill and I will give and they will be cured. But you know, Ayurveda is also a medical system. In Ayurveda, we have a very nice way of diagnosis. When patient comes to us, we do, you know, proper examination. We do two types of examination. One is the examination of the disease. So, there is a complete history, chief complaints, past history, family history. We will ask about various systems, you know, digestive system, elimination. Uh, sleep and mind and emotions and family and relations. We do all this questioning. We ask all this question. Then we do some physical checkups. We do the check the pulse of the patient. We check the tongue. We are checking the eyes. We also try to find out their what constitution, what prakriti, from where they come, what is their age, what kind of culture they have, what kind of food they have. This is quite detailed. You know, trying to understand the proper disease and of course the second part is examination of the patient you know the as i said the age of the patient the where is the patient coming from what is the constitution of the patient so both you know disease examination and the patient examination so after all this the ayurvedic physician then decides you know comes to a conclusion what is the root cause of the disease so that's where we come into ayurvedic you know terminology whether it is a vata disease or a pitta disease or kapha or it's a mixture of you know few where is the disease located in the body then coming to the treatment part it's very interesting uh, we do two types of treatment one is when we see that the disease is not very you know strong so we we will take something you know natural some herbs or you know some herbal mixtures or some decoctions or maybe sometimes we make medicines from minerals also natural minerals. So, we will make a personalized formula for the patient for that particular cause. Suppose somebody has too much pitta means they have too much heat. So, I will take some amala or some other you know cooling herb and mix them and give it to the patient. This is the treatment which is internal, but then along with this diet is very important because I have to stop also all those things which will increase the pitta, which will increase the heat. So, we will tell them not to eat hot spices or anything which is very deep fried or acidic. So, diet plays an equally important role as medicines. Then another type of treatment we do when we see that there is a very serious chronic and the disease has manifested into you know deeper levels. So, we do the panchakarma treatments. Panchakarma are the detoxification or the elimination therapy, where we prepare the patient for a particular cleaning technique. Either we do the cleaning by vomiting or we do purgation, we do enemas, we also do some nasal administrations. So, these are various type of cleansing therapies, where we clean the toxins or the cause of the body, cause of the disease is eliminated from the body. And after this, when we see that the patient is cleared of the problem either through internal medicine or through the detoxification, then we do rejuvenation. Rejuvenation is also a very important part of Ayurvedic treatment, because we want to increase the immunity of the person, so that the disease does not come back again. And of course, when the patient is cured of the problem, we also suggest them to follow a particular lifestyle along with the medicines, we also sometimes advise them yoga, we advise them some breathing exercise, sometimes even meditation or if the problem is more deeper level, we advise them some kind of energy work also. So, it is a combination of various things, it is very holistic, it is very easy to practice, it is without any side effects and it is quite you know I would say most people say that it works slow, but it works very fast actually. If we do everything properly, it works very fast.